Hi everyone, welcome back. And today we are going to talk about React hooks, in which we are going to discuss use state and use effects. We will discuss how we can use a state and component lifecycle methods using use state and use effect hooks inside a functional component. So be with me and let's get started. Make sure you have a latest version of React.js installed in your project that is a 16.8 or above. I have already created a uh, project named as a Smurf Drill and uh, I'm going to use this project now and uh, here uh, once I'll tap on this and uh, with the help of use state I'll increase this uh, count, Smurf short count. So let's see how we can do that. So first of all you need to uh, import use state from react then here you can use it like array then uh, name uh, you can say count then set count use state you need to pass initial value so we can say initial value is 0 and count is the variable that we are going to use set count will function that is that that is responsible to set or increase the count so mm, here we are going to use this count here and when we will tap uh, shoot smurf then it will increase the count by one set count by count plus one So if you are not familiar with Pressable, then uh, I have already created a new video uh, on uh, Pressable. Have a look, I will provide a uh, link of Pressable in description as well. So let's check, let's refresh it and check it. So as you can see, so when I'm, whenever I am pressing this shoot smurf button, so it's uh, increasing the count by one. So this is how use state is work in uh, uh, react hooks uh, uh, use states work so basically here you need to pass uh, uh, initial value and it will be a type of your variable as well so for example if i'm going to pass here a string then this count will be a string if i can pass here instead of string array as well then it will be a array and you have to set array instead of number so this is all about uh, mm, state how we can use a use state and to manage our state inside our uh, component using functional component and uh, now we are going to talk about how we can uh, use uh, our component lifecycle uh, using use effect so let's see so uh, first we will check how we can uh, use component did mount in our functional component okay so use effect basically uh, take two argument first is a callback function and second is array i'll, I'll uh, explain why we need this array so uh, whatever we uh, uh, whatever code we will write inside this use effect then it will be work as component did mount so let's say alert component did mount so let's refresh it and whenever you will uh, load this or first time uh, it will be called you can see and okay so now uh, if you pass any state or props here inside your array then it will call this or invoke this function only when this will change let's see component did update it will uh, so whenever uh, we will shoot and count is changed then it's calling so let's test it by uh, one more example i'm going to create set count 
new and say count new and uh, sorry i'm just going to change it to zero and zero i'm going to add one more button name is show smurf new and uh, it will call one more function that will be a show smurf new i'm going to replace it with this new and that's it and it will uh, increase count new here so let's use this set count new and uh, this count new will be used here inside our text so i'm going to add one more text and count new let's refresh and run it so now as you can see uh, this button will increase uh, let's comment it and this button will increase this count and this will improve this one uh, this will uh, increase this count uh, new one okay so let's add small for new here now i'm going to change how uh, now i just want uh whenever this count will increase then this alert will call this function uh, will call or whatever we have uh, code written here then uh, will call and uh, in case of count new this function will invoked okay so i'm going to change it to a uh, new one and uh, i'm going to change it to old one let's see what happened so initially it will call uh, both because the value of the uh, count new and count is changed to geo okay and now uh, when i'm going to press it shoot some off then it's calling old one because this is updated so this is how component did update will work inside a functional component so whenever our value or state or props are changed then this function invoked and uh, same with this new one so we are updating a new one then it's updating a new one so this is all about the component did update now we will check how we can use a uh, component will unmount method inside our functional component using react hooks so for that again uh, we need to use use effect and uh, callback function now whatever whatever you will return here inside the uh, mm, callback function then it will work as a component will unmount so for example here alert component will unmount but as you can see i have only one screen so uh, i have only one component so i cannot uh, access this but whenever uh, your component will unmount from uh, you know dom tree then it will invoke so that's all about uh, uh, use state and the use effects in react hooks thanks for watching you guys are awesome please don't forget to like share and subscribe